welcome back to Mini Mod Log. If you've not been here before, I do unboxings for all sorts of games in, in the Games Workshop range. 40k, Age of Sigma, done a lot of Blood Bowl recently, um, done Night Vault. Do go check out my playlists. And if you've not been here before, after I've finished speaking, maybe hit that subscribe button, that like button, and remember to hit the little bell for the notifications. That's all the YouTube stuff out of the way. Let's get into what I'm here for. So what have I bought, what have I been up to? I've went to the Water Bowl, and if you didn't see, if you don't know what the Water Bowl is, it's the Manchester League's main big event of the year where they have so many players playing Blood Bowl, basically, in a tournament. 104 players this year, and it's grown each year. I won't go too much into it, because there is a video for it, and it should ping up in the corner in just a minute. But I had a great time there. Caught up with the guys from Two Drunk Flings. Um, had, had a nice meal out with them to round off the day as well. And if you were following on Instagram, you'll know what I've been up to as well. So, great event. Well done, Alex. And hopefully next year I'll be playing in it. We'll see. At the moment, I'm going to sign up for the Stunty Slam later this year. But more about that in a minute. So, what have I bought this month? I bought White Dwarf. And I'm going to talk about why I bought White Dwarf in just a moment. Because I don't buy it every month. Um, and I've also bought, done a Forge World order. So, coming from Forge World, I've got the Chaos Minotaur for the Doom Lords, and I've got Hackflem for my Skaven team. So, talking to my Skaven team, I've entered them into a league called the Forge Bowl at the Forge store in Manchester. Currently, I've done two rounds. They've lost one, 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 and three nil loss and a three nil win. Um, first one was against Chaos, second one was against Dwarves, and I haven't actually lost anyone to death yet, which is pretty good and I've got an apothecary and I've got a rat ogre on the team so that's really cool um really enjoying playing blood bowl really enjoying being involved with the league and watching my team develop but I've also really enjoyed painting this month I've done more on my painting project as you guys know if you watch regularly I I've set myself a kind of target this year of doing 104 models I'm up to 40 models already I've managed to get 10 more done for my death guard and the reason you've not seen any more Death Guard unboxings on the channel of late is purely because I want to get everything painted that I currently own. So I'm working my way through that. I've still got some Poxwalkers to do, some Blight Lord Terminators to do, uh, mainly the Lord Felthius in the cohort. If you've not seen that video, it'll pop up in the corner. Um, and also, kind of, just, I'm, I have a Mythic Blight Hauler, I think, to do as well. So I want to get all of that painted before I buy any new Death Guard. So you won't see Death Guard for a little while. Um, but I have been doing a lot of Blood Bowl content because obviously I've been playing in the league and my Blood Bowl gameplay is, is what's kind of really centering my hobby right now. I hope to eventually get some new content on the channel in, in the view of actually games. I've recently got some new lights and a couple of other bits and pieces, so hopefully soon I'll be filming actual games and you'll get that real soon. So why did I buy White Dwarf this month? Now, if you keep up with Blood Bowl, you'll know that Spike Magazine comes out for each team, but Spike Magazine was late to the party. It wasn't around when the original 2016 game was released. Um, so we had several teams come out before the first Spike Magazine, including the Goblin team, but in this month, you get a Goblins playbook for Blood Bowl. I haven't read it yet, but obviously we're buying the Goblins, which will come later this month. I'm hoping to learn a bit from here, much like that you what you actually get in the Spike magazines. Also, I quite like the Imperial Assassins. They're covered in this month's magazine. There's a couple of other things, but I won't bore you. Do go check out White Dwarf if, if you don't regularly. It's quite a good month this month. And there's also the best, one of the really good things I really like this month, is the section on Black Library they've got in here. They've got a really good section on what order to read the Horus Heresy in. And of course all the artwork's awesome and all the different stuff. But it's a really nice little article on how to read it in the order of events as opposed to the book order. Because the book order flits all over the place. But where if you look at this order in this book, it'll tell you, in the, in the magazine, it'll tell you kind of which way to go. Because there's always a lot of questions on the sites that I'm on and on Facebook that I'm on, what order should I read them? What are the best ones? This kind of gives you, if you're interested in order, this gives you a great order. If you're thinking of best ones, my opinion, First Heretic is a must. Um, first three books, definitely do them in order and do them first because it really sets the scene for the whole kind of series. Um, after that, it depends who you're interested in. I quite liked, for example, the Garrow stories. So that's like Flight of the Eisenstein and Garrow, which are great. Um, I've also listened to the audio drama of Garrow as well. Um, but there's, 
there's a fair few, depending on what's your favourite legion, and you, I could ask you questions, but if you want to know my opinion, that's my opinion, and if you want any advice, say you like a particular legion, I could point you in the right direction, so do ask away in the comments down below. But I think this month's White Dwarf was worth a buy for me, so I'll have a read of that real soon. But, like I say, that's pretty much everything, so this month I'm going to be looking at Scarbag's gets to be get finished i've already started painting them so hopefully they'll be added to the painting list um there's the snivelers for blood bowl who i hope to be doing an unboxing for um a look at how i transport models and storage um also the dark elf cards that i've used and tried and give you my opinion on whether they're worth picking up the cards and also i picked up a nurgle pitch for my nurgle team um for blood bowl and i want to talk about the pitches and how quickly you should be buying them which is immediately by the way and i'll tell you why about that when I show you my Nurgle pitch in the future. But that's everything for now. I'll see you next week for the kind of looking at storage. Um, but have a great week and I'll see you soon.